Oh, welcome to Chris. Yeah, my name's Chris Wagner. Today, we're going to be talking about report side measures and the best practices on how to properly create them versus not. This is kind of important if you're working in an enterprise or if you have a common semantic model, how you create that report side measure to add value to your model can really determine how successful you are or not. Let's get into it. All right, do the YouTube thing, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff really helps me out. I'd appreciate it. If you really want to help out, become a member for as little as $5 a month to get early access to all this content. All right, let's let's take a look. This is my report. I love it. Hey, it's fantastic. We, we use it all the time. It comes from off of our uh, enterprise semantic model, and you can kind of, I'll zoom in and you can almost see it here. Let me get out of your way. Oh, oh, oh. You see, it's connected to my uh, you know, data god model three. It's 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 connected up up there, right? I can even go and like look at it. No, not that. Uh data source settings. Yeah, here we go. I'm connected to my uh my master data model. This is the one that my enterprise says is the best one I'm supposed to be using. It's all well and good. I've got my items here. I've got my sales amount, my freight, right? Like I've got all of my stuff in here. But one of the things I would love to see is what's my profitability, right? That's something that's not currently part of my enterprise model. So what am I going to do to to sh to show that? Well, I'm going to actually go over to my measures on up on the side here. I'm going to right click and cr click on create a new measure. Okay. This allows me to actually do some, write some DAX on top of my semantic model and create what's called a report side measure, okay? Now this report side measure that I'm gonna create is actually gonna be my profit measure. Now let me show you what how I define profit, okay? So I'm kinda, of, oops, let me zoom in. All right, so profit is defined as internet sales amount minus my uh, internet sales total product cost, okay? Now that's that's great, but I want to show you one of the big keys though here is I'm going to define my profit as underscore profit. So the name of my measure is going to be underscore sales amount minus cost, right? That's what it's basically going to be, all right? The big key with that underscore though is it allows me to use it in my report. And then when I have this measure working the way I want it to be, um, you know, and this is pretty basic, but when, you know, if I had an advanced one, this might take me a few iterations, might have some back and forth with my users, right? But either way, by starting with the underscore, it allows me to put this report side measure into my model, get it up and running so I can deliver on my report right away, but then pass that measure over to the enterprise team or the team that manages the model and have that added in, okay? So, um, Chris, you say, okay, you, you add that in, uh, that's great. So I can just now easily add it to my, uh, my visuals here. I can make sure that profit gets added into each place. And in fact, I'm even going to, instead of like focusing in on my sales amount, I'm going to have like a profit visual here. Okay. Now the reason I want to have underscore profit versus adding in a measure like I have here, which is just profit, uh, is so that when I pass this measure back to the enterprise team, if I just had it as profit instead of underscore profit, when the enterprise team puts the measure into the model, they're gonna use it without that underscore in front of it. So that's the enterprise item. And be, you know, I'm not gonna run into any conflicts in my report, right? Because a, a report can only have uh, a, one measure of any given name. So if I create a measure that's just profit equals blah, 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 and then all of a sudden the enterprise report gets a, a measure called profit called blah, 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 my report side measure is gonna start to fail. And I'm gonna actually show that to you right here. So I'm gonna take this measure, I'm gonna copy it, Oopsies, I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go into my uh, my new sales. Oops, right. remove that. I'm gonna hit enter. Oops, I'm gonna rename this one. It's not new measure, this is my profit. So you can actually see what goes on. Okay, so I've got my new measure here. 
This is this is profit. I'm gonna actually go and save this to my master data set. So this is sa saving it out there. If I go back to my report, you can see I've got, okay, I've got profit here. I'm gonna add in profit. So right now I have not refreshed my model. So I, you can see both of these are working just fine. Well, what happens now that that measure is out there? What happens if I go and I refresh my model? I just hit refresh on it. Oop, something is wrong with one or more fields. And you can actually see that it gets highlighted right down here, right? So there's now a conflict in my report. If in my report, I had used that, that profit label or that profit name instead of underscore profit, all of my visuals would look like this. They'd all be blacked out with an error and I'd have problems. If I didn't, this would work just fine, right? So all my reports would be up, it'd be just fine. When all of a sudden profit comes into the model though, all I have to do to replace this is just go into all the visuals that I have that profit underscore profit added in. And I could just go and boop, drop in the profit value that's from the model, clear out my uh, report side measure, do that in each point, get to the point where I've got all those in place and boom, I can delete my report side measure and I don't have to worry about this causing conflicts in it anymore, okay? So if you're doing report side measures, <coughs> excuse me, it's really important to use that underscore. I hope this makes sense to you. I hope when you're building out report side measures, you can actually help your enterprise team build things out and just grow and really run at the speed of business. That's what is so cool and awesome about report side measures. But that little trick, that best practice of using an underscore can really make this, you know, a smooth thing for you and your company to use. I highly recommend it. Just do this. All right. It, it's just going to make your lives so much easier. All right. If you have questions about this, put those down below, hit me up on LinkedIn or X or wherever you're at. Um, love to talk with you about it. Otherwise, you have the best day ever. Peace. All right, I get this is a lot. If you needed help with your models, you've got all sorts of things that are issues and it's just too much for you, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on get some help. Myself or one of my colleagues will reach out to you. And we'll get you the help that you need, all right? But if you think you can do this, and I know you can, check out these videos here and here to help you become your own data god. <laughs>